Hello there guys and in this Linux tutorial we are going to talk about load averages okay so let's talk about load averages load averages display how many processes on average are ready to run at this moment and you can explain uh, you can display this information with uptime so if you type uptime and press enter it is going to show you some information and I will tell you what it has shown. Okay, so first of all, it shows us, okay, that this, uh, that this machine has been up five days and some other information, for example, like there's one user active, etc. Uh, but what we want to actually focus on is this portion right here, which is the load average, okay? So what is this telling me? 0 0.35. 0 0.35 tells me that in the last minute, my CPU, which is my central processing unit, which is my processor, has been dealing with 0 0.35 processes. In the last five minutes, so this is the last minute, in the last five minutes, it has been dealing with 0 0.82 processes. And in the last 15 minutes, it has been dealing with 0 0.78 processes okay and on this machine i have four cores on my cpu and so basically this means that only one of the cores has been busy and that the percentage of it being busy in the last 15 minutes is 78 percent okay so if you have a number which is higher than one but you have multiple cores then you actually have to think about the multiple cores uh, as you are interpreting these results. Okay, so uptime can actually give you these load averages. And basically, anything that's higher than one uh, is something you should look into. But again, if you have multiple cores, you should sort of, uh, you should count those cores. Uh, and uh, for example, if I, if I have four cores, then I should uh, not view anything that's or a, a less than four suspicious. Now, obviously, if I want to minimize my processor load, I can look at anything hi higher than one suspicious because that means that my uh, one core is always constantly doing something. But if I'm just kind of relatively unconcerned about what my processor is doing, anything that's less than the number of my cores should be fine. If it's higher than the number of your cores, well, then you should look into killing some processes, which you already know how to do. Okay, and you should first, you should first uh, actually use top, which this again, which dynamically displays the processes that are running, and the top of the list contains the processes which are using up the most resources. And then you can kill those processes uh, if you want to decrease your load average. Okay, so this is just sort of an informative video. I haven't really used this functionality that much on my personal computer. But I do imagine it can be useful uh, for some system administrators or if your computer is old and you want to see how it's doing, etc. Okay, so thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial. Talk soon.